Hi, uh, welcome to the second part of scaling, and in the second part, we'll talk about wire, wire scaling. Okay, wire scaling. And uh, before we get to to the scaling, let's draw a, a uh, diagram here of uh, what wires look like, uh, and where we discuss them in the section of uh, wires. Okay, and basically we said back then that this is this is the <clears throat> this is the uh, the the width of the wire the width of the wire and this is the length and this is here the thickness of the wire okay and this is the spacing between two wires and this is the height between the wire and the next layer. This is the edge here. Okay. Okay. And um, uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five parameters. So basically, we're going to talk about scaling those five parameters, which is the S. Do not confuse S here, which is the space here, the spacing spacing between two wire with the with the uh, uppercase s which is the scale factor okay do not confuse the two this is this is typically lowercase the spacing between wires the width of the wire the thickness of the wire the height between the wire layer and the and the layer beneath it and then l okay right we're going to talk uh we, we, we will see that uh for all wires S and uh, the the spacing, the width, the thickness, and the height from the other layers, all of them they scale the same way. The problem comes, or the challenge comes, with the L here. It turned out that there are two uh, uh, L behaves in, in, uh, with, with differently with two types of wires: local wires and Global wires. Oops. Uh, global wires. So, if we draw a simple diagram of the chip here, and we have here, say, for example, a block. So, this within this block where you have a wire or an interconnect between two inverters. This is what referred to as local, okay? This is re what referred to as local. So, um, and let's see. So this is the local wire. And if this inverter drives a wire across the die all the way to here, this is what refers to as, this is what refers to as global wire. The length, the length of the length of local wire scales similarly to the same scale as transistors. So the new technology equals the old technology times one over s, and it is similar to those as well. Okay. However, the global wires, the new wire under new technology does not scale down it actually scales up because chips are growing larger so you will see that it will it will grow by a factor of uh, die die uh, die size uh, factor which is typically 1.1 and that's why we will look at two types of tables local wires and global wires and what we will do is that we're going to express the scaling in terms of these parameters per unit length, and then we will multiply it with the appropriate L when we go to local wires and global wires. Okay, so let's go back to, 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 to the table, and we can see here for, for, um, <clears throat> So you can see here, these are 
uh, the parameters that we talked about, the width of the wire, the spacing, the thickness, the height, okay? And you can see we're going to scale them with 1 over S. Then what we will do is that we will characterize the resistance of the wire, the capacitance of the wire per unit length, meaning we will, we will do that without the L per unit length. And then... Um, and then we compute the repeated RC, repeat, uh, repeated RC with, uh, 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 I'm sorry, the RC delay with the wire with the, uh, unrepeated and repeated, using repeaters, that is. And then once we calculate those parameters, then we go to local wires and say, okay, we know that the local wire, the length, will scale by 1 over S, and the global wire, the length will, 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 will grow by DC. So we'll compute those for, 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 for both local and, and global, because we compute them per unit length without the L, and then we multiply it with the appropriate L. Okay, so now let's go back to, to our, uh, to our uh, here's uh, uh, this thing, uh, to whiteboard, and then, and then we'll see that if we talk about um, the, um, the 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 uh, cap the the, the uh, capacitance of a wire, watch per unit length per unit length it is it is um, now notice anything per unit length the L is not included. We're gonna see that it is roughly the capacitance of the wire. It is the fringing capacitance plus uh, the parallel plate capacitance of the wire, and this is roughly equals to the thickness over the spacing in terms of the fringing plus the uh, thickness over the height okay notice the absence of l the length of the wire because it this is per unit length we are computing everything per per unit length meaning we have not included l yet okay so now you can see if we if you if you if you do the scaling, okay, so now you can see if we do the scaling, uh, the, this is 1 over, uh, if we have CW, <coughs> C, CW prime, okay, uh, equals, equals roughly, oh, let me do this again. So the capacitance of a wire in the new technology equals the capacitance uh, of the wire, uh, uh, the fringing wire of, uh, uh, of the new technology plus the parallel plate of the new technology. Okay. All right. So now, uh, so now let's see. Um, um, and this is equals to uh, T T prime over S prime plus W prime over H prime, all with the new technology. And we, we know that all these 1 over S's will scale, and this is 1 plus 1 and equals 1, which means the capacitance of the wire does not change per unit length. Okay? We will also are interested to, to uh, compute um, the um, resistance of the wire Per unit length, the resistance of the wire per unit length equals one over um, uh, uh, length times the thickness, and uh, so the resistance of the wire in the new technology equals one over W, the new one, and the thickness of the new one, which is equals to uh, 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 one over one over S times W times one over S times T, which is equals to S square, S square, times the uh, the resistance of the old technology. Okay, so notice that here. Notice that uh, that, uh, that that here S is the scaling. Okay, okay, uh, and notice the the the, the, the this important uh, observation. First, uh, first, uh, the, the 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 capacitance does not change as we shrink features. Resistance grows with a factor of, oops, I'm sorry, this, with a factor of S square. That's very problematic. That, that hurts delay, okay? That hurts delay right there, okay? Now, 
Okay, so and then we will talk about in these tables uh, as well. We'll talk about uh, um, we'll talk about the um, uh, the RC delay for a wire, RC delay for a wire, in two cases with repeaters, without repeaters, with out repeaters, repeaters, and with repeaters. Okay, and we saw in the wire section why we need repeaters, and we saw that with the delay with repeaters. Okay, so this is this is. Uh, the delay with 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 the repeaters um i'm sorry with the, the delay without uh, repeaters is roughly uh the uh resistance of the wire per unit length times the capacitance of the wire per unit length okay and here the delay with repeaters it is a square root of the resistance of the transistor the capacitance of the transistor the resistance of the wire per unit length times the capacitance of the wire per unit length Okay, the energy of a wire, the energy to switch a wire is uh, proportional to the capacitance of the wire times VBB square. Okay, so let's go back now to the tables and see how we can uh, discuss those. Okay, so you can see here in the table, okay, we did all these scaling per, per what? Per unit length, per unit length. Now, I have two types of wires, locals, where L scales by 1 over S, and globals, where L scales up by DC. So I, ha I take these values and multiply them appropriately with the scaling of L. Okay, you can see that once we do that, the unrepeated RC delay of a wire stays the same for local wires. For local wires, stays the same, which is, by, by the way, bad news, because because for for transistors the the, 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 the delay scaled down by uh, a factor of one over s and the wire r stays the same so you can see by by time and generation of technology wire are becoming more dominant in the delays okay now uh, for repeated delay so it is uh, for repeated delay it's uh, one over s a decrement and the energy goes down by one over s cube similar to what we have seen in uh, full scaling uh, for transistors. Now, how about the global wires? That's where the bad news is. Uh, L scales up. Look at the uh, the the, uh, the RC delay with no repeaters. It goes up. S square, DC square, and with repeaters, uh, DC times square root of S and energy uh, goes up uh, by DC over S square. Now uh, depends on these factors, so it's a slight reduction in energy, but all over, this is really bad news for scaling. Um, in summary, wires uh, will, over time, become the dominant factor in terms of delay, uh, because we have seen transistors, they scale down in terms of delay, but wires are not scaling that with that rate. In fact, the global wires are increasing in their delay. So that seems to be a challenge for, for for the industry. And that's the main message of this chapter. Okay, so, oops, sorry. So now we go, uh, um, I'm gonna talk about uh, the scaling. Uh, of course, it improves the performance, improve the, the, the cost. Um, we have some woes for, for interconnect and power, as we have seen that the, the, the scaling for, for, for global wires, uh, uh, is 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 not does not tell us good news. Uh, power is going up. Power density is a limit. So we're 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 getting into really the physical de limits here. Uh, power density is going up and up. So uh, t challenging techniques has to be invented. But while we can we can have some we, we or while we are having dynamic power is is going in a, uh, up and up. The static power is going in a faster rate. So the static power, this is your uh, subthreshold uh, power, the gate leakage, uh, subthreshold leakage power, the gate leakage power. All these are uh, very hard to control, and technology has to come up with techniques to, to reduce because the their their rate is going very fast, and and at some point they will become dominant in the in the power of the chip. Now. Um, 
the physical limits. So, uh, okay, so we are getting into certain challenges here, but uh, I'm sure technology over time provides solutions. And these uh, 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 folks who are saying that there are no solution for them are just exaggerating. We're going to find for them solutions over time. Now, in terms of, uh, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, 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 leave this VLSI economics for our VLSI course. Uh, so for the rest of this section, we can you can read it on your own. And um, uh, this is, will be the last uh, slide that we explain uh, in this uh, second part. Thank you very much.